Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today's video is about what I'm going to call the stitch effects or cross stitch using the zipper tool in the distort. And if you use this properly in actually two pieces of material and color mapping, you could engrave one differently and, and uh, make it look like it's been sewn to the fabric. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a square. A square would be the easiest. We're going to put it in the center of the page. It's 10 inches. My nudge factor is set on 12. I'm going to make a duplicate of that, and I'm going to move it over out of the way. Then I'm going to convert this to a curve. I'm going to go down to the distort tool, which is underneath your drop shadow, and hit the distort tool. And right here, use the zip, zipper distortion. I'm going to set this on like 12. And now we're going to start, I zoomed in a little bit. Now we're going to add nodes and go until it's about even. See, that's pretty much symmetrical. Let's go one more, a couple more. I'm not really seeing what I like. I want that corner to be equal that that would work so let's make that black let's actually make it a little bit thicker for the video now a square is the easiest because all four sides were equal and all the nodes were equal and then you could bring this back let's turn it to black and nudge it back and if you had two different kinds of material or even that itself this would look like it had been cross stitched so that's the zipper tool underneath the distort to get that effect. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.